That's right, folks. The channel's finally gotten comped a free shoe, and I'm telling you what, this is a good one. Oh. I feel like I'm chosen. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today is a very special day. I have just received my first free shoe. <laughs> That's right, people. An amazing citizen of the world sent me a pair of Travis Scott reverse mocha lows. But how on earth can I tell if these are real or fake? How do I reach these kids? We're gonna get into that in just a moment, but do you want to know how you can tell that your shoes are 100% authentic every time? When you cop them for retail. And the best way to make sure you can cop shoes like these for retail prices is to be part of a Discord. I am particularly partial to my Discord, the Fauntleroy's Finest Discord. We try wow. to keep you up to date on all the latest leaks, raffles, links, what's coming out, when it's coming out, and how you can cop them. So join the Discord, it is completely free, and the link is in the description below. And obviously if you want more videos, like and subscribe, and if you don't want more videos, then, I mean, you know, too bad. Well played, Garko. Alright, let's get into it. Let me show you guys how to legit check your reverse mocha Travis Scott ones. Now, spoiler alert, I am gonna fess up, these are indeed a pair of reps. I was sent a pair of reps. <laughs> But I will say these are very nice reps, and I'm gonna use these to show you guys how to legit check an authentic pair. But first off, I definitely wanna shout out the company that sent these to me. I mean, I appreciate any free gifts for sure, especially when shoes are involved. I was browsing around on the Shoe Pop website for quite some time after I was contacted by these guys, and they really do have almost every single pair of shoes you can think of. Everything from Panda Dunks to Louis Vuittons, they have a rep for it. They have almost every silhouette you can think of, and definitely the most popular one. I don't personally rock too many reps, but like I can understand like there are some shoes that are just so expensive Like the cause Jordan 4s that I really really want for myself one day I would just have a really hard time spending that type of money on a shoe and then just like wear it around You know, so I definitely can see a benefit to folks getting reps instead of paying say $1,000 for a pair of Travis Scott ones You'd be dropping like 175 with these guys and you're getting almost the exact same look that you wanted and the amount of people that could even tell that these are fake are like in the 0.01% of all the shoe heads out there. You're like a five. Yeah. And I'm looking for more of like a nine or a 10. Oh yeah, know? nine, 10, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you do happen to hit up this website for any reason whatsoever, if you use the code FONT, they're gonna give you $10 off the order. Wow. And you can check them out on Instagram too. It's shoepop68 on Instagram. I've seen a few other videos done on this company. The shipping was really fast. Obviously these came from Hong Kong, but I believe these were here in less than two weeks. Somehow that is way faster than Antisocial Social Club has ever even dreamed of. <laughs> Now let me show you guys how you can tell the difference between a real Travis Scott shoe and a fake one. First off, one of the easiest ways to tell if something is fake is the box. People really don't spend as much time dealing with the box as they do the actual shoe itself. That's why you see some of those authenticator videos, the person is just really examining the box. First off with this box, it's a lot smaller than what a normal Jordan 1 box would be. A normal size 10 Jordan 1 box is about this much bigger. And if you hold it up against one, you'll see the difference right away. And then just opening up the box, we see the paper. Usually this paper isn't quite this thick. It's a little thinner usually. So a lot of times the best way to tell if something is real or fake are those little extra details that they put into it. Gotta enjoy the little things. But what if you don't have a box to go on? What are the best ways to check out if the shoe itself is real or fake? And the first thing that I would do on any of these Travis Scott shoes is what I call the suede test. That's right, I patented that. You're full of shit. Alright, thank you guys. Shush. If you guys have ever touched real suede before, you know that it will discolor the suede as you move your finger about. The fake pairs usually don't have the really good suede on them, so you're not going to see that definition as much. Also, I believe that the color on a lot of the fake shoes is a little bit lighter than what you'll see on the actual shoe itself. The next best place to look at are the tags on the shoe tongues themselves. So usually on a real Travis Scott shoe, those trademark signs are going to be a little bit bigger than the ones that you see on a rep pair of Travis Scott ones. A lot of the letters on the tags are going to be a little thicker, like the O's are a little thicker, uh, the V's hang down a little bit. To be fair though, this tag looks really good, I don't know if I would be able to tell a difference. Another way to tell is the toe box level. On a real one, you'll see that the angle is a little bit different for how they run that toe box. So that's a really quick way to see if that one's, if it's real or fake as well. Next, check out the cactus text on the inside of the shoe. You'll notice that on a fake pair, 
this text is gonna be a lot thinner than it is on the real shoe. Another place to look is the back of the shoe. Now you can see how detailed that this rep shoe is. Oh God, monster! But if you look at the embroidery on the back of both of these shoes, they're both a little bit off. The little Cactus Jack smiley face or lack of smiley face. Uh, you'll notice the hair, it doesn't come out quite as much as it does on a real pair. And then the Air Jordan logo on the back of the other side, you'll notice the wings are a little bit too thin. Usually they're a little thicker than that on the real pair. And then one last place to look is the track Travis Scott reverse swoosh itself. You'll notice that on the replica pairs that the stitches are going to be a lot thinner than they are on the real pairs. Stitches get stitches. All that said, these are a damn nice pair of replica shoes. They are almost identical down to about a few nitpicky little details. And I can tell you one thing, if I owned a pair of real Travis Scott one reverse mochas, I would probably buy a rep pair that I could wear around town. <laughs> You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. If you guys are interested in picking up a pair of rep shoes of any kind, you should definitely check out the guys over at shoepop.ru. Check them out on Instagram, shoepop68, and I'll add some more contact information in the description below for them. And if you buy anything from them, make sure that you use discount code FONT to get $10 off of some really, really high quality rep shoes. Stop it. Get some help. And as far as these shoes go, I will be giving these away on one of the live streams coming up next week. So if you guys want to try to win these replica Travis Scott ones, make sure you pay attention to the live stream. And honestly, the best way to do that is, again, get in the Discord. Link in the description below. I hope that that was a good informative little video for you guys. Okay. And again, thank you so much to shoepop.ru for giving me the shoes. They are very nice reps. So if you guys want a pair, make sure you check those guys out. All their information is in the description as well. And if this video didn't completely fulfill the Fauntleroy that you need in your life right now, well then you should check out these videos right Never here. Take a L, no.